of the night. 10.30 is really the best time to start watching, but we decided to send Mike Liggins out early. Mike, where are you? Susie, hello. I'm in uh, a field not far from the village of Walcott uh, on the Norfolk coast. The reason we're here is there is very little light pollution. I know we've got the TV lights, but very little light pollution. The skies are also clear. I know much of the region has been shrouded in uh, mist and fog uh, today, but the skies are clear here. No doubt Ivor will tell you a little bit more about that uh, later on. Now, just in case this story has kind of passed you by over the last uh, day or so, uh, there is a comet by the name of Temple Tuttle, which leaves a trail of debris behind it. And it's that debris which is the meteorite shower. Now, once a year, the Earth passes through the debris. Once every 33 years, you get a very good show. So what do you do to see it? Well, what you've got to do is get outside from 10.30 onwards. Point east and a deck chair is absolutely ideal. You don't need uh, a telescope or binoculars. The naked eye will do. So let's have a look up and see what we can see. Uh, well, not much at the moment. These exclusive pictures from the Lucky Sky Cam. Uh, I think that's Jupiter we're seeing at the moment. No meters at the moment, but of course we're very very hopeful. So what you need is a deck chair. Get out there from 10.30 onwards. I've got a flask and a teddy bear to keep me company. Um, just before I go, I did say that I was in a, in a field in the middle of nowhere. A little, little bit of a porky pie. We're actually in a field uh, at the back of a pub, the lighthouse in. We're going to nip in there to keep warm and nip out to see if we can see any meters. Back to the studio. Thanks, Mike. Good luck. <laughs> you can be out watching tonight. I think I might with my deck chair and my teddy bear as well. <laughs> now, in tonight's sport, 